Okay, we're going to start painting the overalls and the shirt and these boots today. Maybe the neckerchief would get, get far enough along. <clears throat> but before we do that, we got to determine which colors we want to use. Well, if you swing around over here and look at this computer screen, I called up coal miner and uh, Google did a search and if Judy will enlarge these things. I searched down through here to find out what I'm looking for and the best example I could find is this picture of uh, a coal miner that Norman Rockwell did. This sort of shows the colors we're after. Sort of a dark overall color compared to the uh, shirt, which is sort of a, uh, don't know how to pronounce it, chambray, cambray. Anyway, I've looked down through these coal miners and that uh, seems to be the color <laughs> that they all use. I don't know why she's laughing. There's a good example of one. There goes the red lid. But they all seem to be wearing these blue blue clothes, so that's what we're going to use, okay? And uh, you can see how dirty these guys are. It's not in color, but they're, they're pretty dirty. And we're going to do that later on. So... Getting back over here. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, take his head off and soak him down, okay? Okay, I sprayed him down and got him all wet. Let that soak in a bit. Here's the colors we're going to use. We're going to use Midnight Blue, okay? And midnight Blue is a blue that has a little white in it and a little black in it, which is a, a good color. I like this color. We're going to use this. I have no idea what this color is because I've had this color for years. But it's about the same color as a chambray shirt, which is what we're after, what I got on here. Alright, and we'll probably use a little white and black. I don't need that. Maybe a little brown. As you can see the water's soaked in now. It's lost its shiny appearance, which is exactly what we want. So the first thing I want to do is paint his shirt, okay? So we'll get a little of this paint out here. It's old and starting to set up in the tube. I'm going to try, try something new this time. I'm going to start painting it and then we're going to speed it up until I get the whole thing done because uh, you've seen me paint before and there's no reason for you to sit here and watch me paint every stroke. But this will give you the opportunity of seeing me paint every stroke but it, very fast, okay? so. We'll just start out here slow. And then we'll speed it up. So we'll make a break here and go into fast motion. So are you recording?
Okay, I got that one side painted, so uh, we're just going to stop it, and I'll go ahead and paint this, and we won't waste time with painting this other side till I'm done. Okay, okay, I got his shirt all painted. Now we're going to color it up a bit. I went ahead and painted the patch on his arm. I used a this is chocolate cherry. It's just sort of a dark purple I have around here. You can paint it any color you want, but I don't like bright colors. So anyway, I've got some uh, raw sienna out here. I'm just going to get a little out of the cup here and put it down here. We're just going to dab a little less around. Just kind of give his shirt some color. In this video, we're only going to be able to do the shirt. I don't want to overrun and have to use that MP4 again. Of course, you can't really see much with that. See how just a little bit of application of another color can really, really change the appearance of something. Just want to be free with it. This. this is just a bamboo, real light, real light pen. And just hit it a little so long. Now it wouldn't surprise me at all that as we paint the dark coal color on here, a lot of this, what I'm doing now will be a, just a completely wasted effort. But that's all right. After realism here, and we want color, lots of color. Now to indicate where, and get me some white here. expensive white here. Okay, this white we're going to put on all the wear areas so it'll be on his cuff. Especially on his elbows. Clean my brush out, get it dry. Just come back and dab that, bleed it out. Like that. 
So, oops, Judy's clucking back there, so I held it away from me. Sorry. See that very well, but if I can see it on there. You don't want very much. You don't want to get carried away. I see a lot of guys use this dry brush technique, and they just get totally carried away with it. Just ruins the effect. You just want a little bit. Sure, it looks pretty good. See, I went ahead and painted his, or carved his uh, handkerchief sticking out the back. All right, so that's going to do it for this part of the video. And uh, in the next one, we'll go ahead and continue on and do his uh, overalls. So until then, I'll talk to you later.